Hello everyone and welcome back to Lighthouse Buffs. So we all know what a typical lighthouse looks like, right? Like this, or this, or this. Well, today I want to cover some of the more interesting looking lighthouses in the world. I've compiled a list of 10 of them for you today that I personally found to be a little neat and different looking and I'll give you a few quick facts about each one of them as well. And make sure you stay tuned to the very end to see number 10, which is something a little out of this world. So let's dive in. Number one is the Sanibel Island Light in Sanibel, Florida. This unusual lighthouse was built in 1884 and due to hurricanes eroding the lighthouse over time, it became fully automated in 1949 to eliminate the risk to keepers living on site. This 30 meter tall structure has a very interesting backstory. It was one of two identical lighthouses built in New Jersey and transported by ship to Florida upon completion. The ship, however, sank in a storm not far from Sanibel, but divers were fortunately able to salvage both lighthouses. The second lighthouse was erected at Cape San Blas in Florida. Number two is the Kipsar Lighthouse in Saarema, Estonia. This very cool looking lighthouse was built in 1933 and stands 26 meters high along the Baltic Sea. It originally stood on land about 100 meters from the sea, but due to changes in the shoreline, it has ended up in the ocean. Because of the strong waves and currents, it has ended up shifting over time, causing its tilted appearance. It has been inactive since 1992, but still draws many visitors that want to see it in person. Number three is the Pilsen Lighthouse in East Frisia, Germany. This colorful lighthouse was built in 1891 and stands 11 meters high and was only used up until the First World War. It's become iconic in Germany, however, as the lighthouse itself was used in a German movie as the residence for one of its main characters in the film. Number four is the Low Lighthouse in Bridgewater Bay, England. This super cute little lighthouse stands on nine wooden legs and is just 11 meters tall. It was built in 1832 to help guide ships through the Bristol Channel and still draws thousands of beach walkers each year that come to admire this adorable little lighthouse. Number five is the Lorraine Harbor Lighthouse in Lorraine, Ohio. This unique lighthouse was built in 1917 and today offers beautiful sunset dinners and tours and a gift shop. You may notice that this lighthouse has a very slight lean to it. It tilts seven degrees to the east, to be exact. The cause? Well, in 1969, a Canadian freighter struck the concrete base, so much so that you can see the actual crack from the impact. Number six is the Cape Agulhas Lighthouse in Cape Town, South Africa. This gorgeous lighthouse was built in 1849 and is the second oldest working lighthouse in South Africa, being declared a national monument in 1973. It sits at the southernmost tip of Africa, right at the meeting of both the Indian and Atlantic Oceans. The design is modeled after one of the oldest original Seven Wonders of the World, the Egyptian Pharos Lighthouse, which was destroyed to rubble after multiple earthquakes over the years. Number seven is the Thomas Point Shoal Light in Annapolis, Maryland. Originally built in 1825 as a stone lighthouse, it was converted into a screw pile cottage style structure in 1875 and stands as that to this day. It became fully automated in 1986 and was designated a National Historic Landmark in 1999. Tours of the lighthouse are now offered each summer where tickets will run you $85 per person. Number eight is the Fastnet Lighthouse on Fastnet Rock in Ireland. Its original structure first began operation in 1854 and was then replaced with the version we see today in 1904. This 54 meter high lighthouse is the tallest one in Ireland and is also one that is feared by many mariners that come through this region as low clouds and strong winds frequent this area, making navigating around the rock really difficult at times. Today, the light still shines as a beacon but stands empty to visitors other than for maintenance or inspections. It's also known as Ireland's teardrop as it was the last part of Ireland many 19th century emigrants would see as they left for North America. Number nine is the St. Nicholas Church Lighthouse in Crimea, Ukraine. This incredibly unique lighthouse was built quite recently actually in 2004 and doubles as both a church and a lighthouse. It stands 60 meters tall with a gilded ball at the top serving as an operating lighthouse. This structure was built as a memorial to all those that lost their lives at sea in the region. The basement of this building also holds a museum with a memorial wall and educates on sea disasters that have occurred in the area. And last but not least, number 10, the beautiful Tourlitis Lighthouse in Andros, Greece. 
Perhaps one of the most uniquely different lighthouses on earth, the Torlaitis Lighthouse is like no other. Looking like something straight out of a fairy tale, this one is definitely a sight to behold. The original version was built in 1897, but was destroyed in World War II. It ended up being rebuilt in the early 1990s by an oil tycoon who dedicated the structure to his daughter. This new version was automated and eliminated the need for a keeper, and is now one of the largest tourist attractions in the area. Next week I'll be doing a video on the lighthouses of Asia and trust me there are some really interesting ones over there so if you haven't really seen any of those ones make sure you are subscribed to this channel make sure you hit that bell notification to get notified of when that video goes live next week. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.